Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how to install Docker Desktop on your Ubuntu system. For this video, we're going to follow the Docker Desktop tutorial. I will include the link in the description below. To get started, we have some prereqs that we need to meet. Go ahead and review the general system requirements here. And if you're not in a GNOME desktop environment, go ahead and run this. But we're going to skip this step since we're running GNOME. Coming down here, the first thing we're going to want to do is start with step one, set up the Docker package repositories. So we'll go ahead and click on this link here. And here you can see some of the commands that we're going to want to run. But if you have tried this before and you want to start clean, go ahead and scroll up to the top here. And you could see we could run this to get rid of any sort of conflicting packages. But we have not installed Docker on this system before, so we're going to skip this step. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to paste this in our terminal. So go ahead and open that up. We'll go ahead and right click, hit paste, and we'll go ahead and hit enter. Go ahead and enter your sudo password. And let that run. And once we're done setting up the Docker repository, we could go ahead and go back to the previous page. So next, we'll go ahead and download the latest uh, Debian package. We'll go ahead and click this link, and this will actually start a download and save this Docker desktop DEB file to our downloads folder. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And we'll let that install. And once that's done, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. So we'll go ahead and update our system. I've already done this before, so we'll skip this. And if you have not, go ahead and do this now. And next, we're going to want to go ahead and open up the terminal and move to our downloads folder. So we'll go ahead, open this up, cd to downloads. And you can see here, we have docker desktop amd64.deb. So coming back here, we'll go ahead and copy and paste this command. And this will run our installation. Go ahead and enter your sudo password. And we'll say yes, and let this install. As you can see here, our installation is complete, and there is a warning here. We could go ahead and ignore this, as you can see on the installation page here. We can go ahead and ignore this. So moving on to the next part. We could go ahead and launch Docker Desktop. So to do so, we'll go ahead and click on the bottom left here. And as you can see here, we have Docker Desktop. So go ahead and click that to open it. Once you have Docker Desktop open, you go ahead and look through this. I'll go ahead and hit Accept. And here you can log in if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and skip this for now. You can use a work email or a personal email. You can even log in with Google, GitHub, or you could create an account. And if you want to, you can go ahead and fill out this survey as well. I'm going to go ahead and skip this for now. And just like that, you have Docker Desktop installed. As you can see here, we have containers, images, volumes, and builds. And you can see the engine is running now. We could restart Docker Desktop, or we could quit Docker Desktop as well. And if you want to go into the settings and change some things, you could go ahead and do so. Some of you may want to turn this off if you don't want Docker starting right when you turn on your computer. We could change the theme if we want to. I'll go ahead and change this to dark. And something you could also do is you could allocate more or less resources. So come over here and you can see we have four CPU cores and we have 1.9 gigs of memory allocated. So I'll go ahead and hit apply and restart. And you can see we switched over to dark mode and Docker desktop won't turn on when we start our device.